In 1845, Benjamin Wilson discovered what would be called Bear Valley. Today, this valley hosts large ski resorts, hundreds of cabins, and one of the largest man-made lakes in the world, all less than two and a half hours away from downtown LA. Before any of that though, gold was discovered near Bear Valley, and hundreds of eager prospectors flooded into the area. During this period, the journey into Bear Valley took a grueling two days on a rough, primitive road. Today, this road is forgotten. It doesn't show up on many maps and is rarely traveled. This is the story of Clark's Grade. The first challenge one faces when researching Clark's Grade is finding it. Even after going over dozens of maps and old photographs, the exact path of the road is hard to follow. Today, the once lonely road intersects with several other trails and roads, and some sections have seemingly disappeared entirely. The easiest landmark to find is the old Oak Knoll Lodge, which served as a much welcome rest spot for weary travelers once they reached the lake. The lodge is still in business today, though I doubt it gets many visitors off Clark's Grade nowadays. Finding the start of Clark's Grade is a journey in and of itself. Although the road used to go all the way down to the lake bed, that section is now lost in a maze of forest service roads. Add that to the fact that the trailhead lies about 8,000 feet above sea level, and it's no wonder why the road is pretty much deserted, a stark contrast to the other hiking trails of the area. As you get closer to the trailhead, it's a little unsettling how quiet it is. The lack of people, planes, cars, or any human activity at all makes you feel like you're somewhere you aren't supposed to be. But the view from the trail makes it a little less uncertain. Clark's grade was mostly in use between the 1850s and 1924 when better roads began to appear. After the first dam was built in 1884 and the lake formed, the road saw less prospectors and more tourists. The dawn of the automobile age saw the roads packed with cars, making the journey slightly easier, though no less time consuming. After better roads were built though, the rough, unpaved road fell out of favor and slowly into disrepair. Here's what it looks like now. This is Clark's Grade Road, or what's left of it anyway. This section is mostly used for mountain biking now, and the other sections are way too far to hike, but this is it. <laughs>